All right, here's our 30 second intro. There's no way I can do this in 30 seconds. That's the uh, reality. Um, probably need to change the name. Yep, we'll change the name. In the meantime, this is our platform. Um, qualitative research interviews at the very top. And very soon I'll be able to do a video where I'll demo our synthetic surveys as well. For the time being, you have these qualitative um, interviews or in-depth interviews, research goal. Um, you um, pick your audience and your research goal and we synthesize your users and come up with the best questions to get to that research goal. Okay. Um, custom script interview, you have questions that you want to ask, you can put them here. Problem exploration interview, it's all about exploring the, the space of opportunity. Concept testing, you have a concept that you want to test, um, and so forth and so forth. So it's all very self-explanatory. Um, we have a research assistant um, that helps you fill your research plan. Um, and we want to get some granularity in here because that will mean that the output will be um, a little bit more precise. Otherwise, we stay very high level, right? Um, and so, yeah, if you, if you were to put 18-year-olds, um, it will inevitably ask you, like, you know, can you give me a little bit more, right? Um, and so I'm going to say Hackney, uh, London, um, and then in terms of um, the research goal, um, we could be uh, we could be looking for um, understanding how they perceive um, Android uh, phones uh, versus um, iPhones. Right? And off we go. Um, once we're ready with this. Um, Obviously, you can, you know, the, the assistant is trying to get a little bit more juice as, out of you. Um, just press continue. Um, specify however many interviews you want to run. You can run up to 10 interviews at a time and generate your synthetic users. You'll notice that when we generate synthetic users, the, they come with two different sets of parameters. So at the very top, you'll see that they are um, static. And then we have dynamic parameters that you're able to change. You can even add to these. So overall, adding to the granularity as you go further, deeper into uh, your research journey. Uh, you can run your interviews. Uh, you can have interviews in different languages. Um, go ahead and run your interviews. Um, and you'll notice that um, Different synthetic users have different personality profiles. So we use the ocean model, also called the five-factor model, to um, build the synthetic user around that kind of reptilian brain. Um, the interviews are running, as you can see over here. Um, and it's going to be fairly quick. Um, and once it's done, you're able to ask more questions. Okay, It's really important to ask more questions. It's one of the main differences between synthetic research and organic research. When you, when you conduct organic research, you know, the person across the table will get up and that's it. Yes, you can get them back, but you know, it's cumbersome, expensive. With synthetic research, you have these synthetic users forever. Um, and so, um, although this counts as one interview, you can actually ask as many questions as you want over here, okay? So that's important to bear in mind. When you are happy, and we have a few more features where you can annotate and whatnot, um, go ahead and press the Create Report button. And um, again, you now have a report where we synthesize your, um, your interviews, all of your interviews. Um, we try, we have a couple of agents looking for insights. We have uh, follow-on follow questions. And we've recently um, deployed the ability to ask a question to the report itself. Um, and there's more to come on this button. It's actually a jump off for new features and the very near future, because the idea is that you keep doing research, right? That you keep um, um, 
that you go beyond this the, the current the current set of interviews and and potentially even run some surveys and then some in-depth interviews so yeah um this is where we're at right now you can export um, we have share studies um another thing that we have now is um, the ability for you to have uh, to um, create folders so we call these projects um, and um, invite um, people to these you know colleagues clients to these um, particular folders okay um, yeah well thanks for listening um, and yeah any questions just um, shoot us an email